Hmm. Yes. Today I am going to teach you the constructions. Only there are four constructions. One, tangent from the external point, tangent through a point on the circle, in circle and circumcircle. Now about the, what is tangent? Tangent is a line which touches a circle at only one point. Here, the tangent touching the circle in only one point R. This P or Q is called the tangent. How to construct the tangent through a point on this circle? What is the center of the circle? P is a given point on the circle. Now, you are going to construct OPA is equal to 90 degree. Then, produce AP up to B. Now, APB is a tangent to the circle through the given point P. Always, the radius is perpendicular to tangent. You have to remember this point always. In the tangent ta chapter, in detail, you can learn this. Next, you are going to construct the tangent. Two tangents from a point P. This exterior point. Let O is the center of the circle. P is the given point. First, what you have to do? Join OP. Then, draw perpendicular bisector of OP. All of you know how to construct the perpendicular bisector. More than half you have to take. From O one arc up and down, from P another R, then join. It intersect OP at Q. Then Q as center and QO as radius, draw another circle. It touch the given circle at A and B. Join PA and PB. PA and PB are the tangent, two tangents from exterior points to the circle. PA is equal to PB. From that, what is that? Tangent from the exterior points are equal. Now, you are going to construct the next one. Construction of circumcircle and incircle. Circumcircle. First, you have to find what is circumcenter you should know. What is circumcenter? Is the concurrent point of all the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle or hexagon or pentagon. Here you will get the triangle or hexagon. To construct the circumcircle, first we have to find the circumcenter. So how to find? Draw the perpendicular bisector of any two sides of triangle or hexagon. Now previously, before that you have to know how to construct a hexagon. You know how to construct a triangle. Now to construct a hexagon, in ninth standard you learn in the polygon chapter, each angle of hexagon by using the formula n minus 2 into 180 by n, 6 minus 2 into 180 by 6, you are getting 120 degree. Each angle of hexagon is 120. How to construct a hexagon? Suppose the side of the regular hexagon is 4 cm, construct AB is equal to 4 cm, but you have to use only compass here. You have to draw an arc. 60 degree, 120 degree and through 120 degree draw a line. In this way from A also you are taking 120 degree draw a line. Cut 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter. Again at F draw 120 degree, 120 degree. Again 4 centimeter R and join this you will get the regular hex again. Now maybe you, you are understanding how to construct the hex again. Each angle of hex again is 120 degree. Now I am going to teach about the construction of circumcircle for a triangle or hexagon. Steps. First, you have to construct a triangle. If triangle given, you will you have to draw a triangle, side angle, whatever given. You have to construct according to the condition. You have to construct triangle or four centimeter hexagon means draw hexagon. Previously, I discuss about it. Now construct a triangle or hexagon. This is the first step. Then draw perpendicular bisectors of any two sides. In triangle, you are constructing the perpendicular bisector of AB and AC. It intersect at O. In regular pen, uh, hexagon, draw perpendicular bisector of AB and FA. It intersect at O. The O is called the circumcenter. 
Now with O as center and O A as radius or here also O A as radius, draw a circle. It pass through the vertices of the triangle or hexagon and this is called circumcircle for the triangle or hexagon. Measure the radius if it is given. You have to find the distance of O A that is the radius of the circumcircle. Here circle outside. The triangle or the hexagon, it is inside, circumscribed. Yes, next come to the construction of in circle. Before that, you should know what is in center. In center is the concurrent point of all the angle bisector. You have to draw the angle bisector of any two angles. It intersect at that point. That point is called the in center. Now, how to construct the in see how to find this so now construct the in circle to this triangle or regular hexagon so first what is the steps construct a triangle or hexagon you know how to construct a triangle also hexagon also then draw angle bisector of any two angles in the triangle here angle bisector of angle a angle B. It intersects at I. This I is called the in center. Coming to the hexagon, angle bisector of A and B intersect at I. This is called in center. In center is, what is the definition of in center? The angle bisector of any two sides or the concurrent point of angle bisector is in center. Okay, next what you have to do? For from I, you have to draw perpendicular to any one of the side. Here ID is perpendicular to BC. Here IP is perpendicular to AB. This is the radius of the in circle. With I as center, IP as radius. Or I as center, ID as radius. Draw the circle. It, it attaches the sides of the triangle or hexagon. This is called in circle. It attaches. So now what will happen, this A, this is the tangent, this is the tangent, this is also tangent. Okay, this is the in circle, here ID or here IP is the radius of in circle and this is the construction of only there are four construction. One is tangent from external points, tangent through a point on the circle, in circle and circumcircle. Do practice. The exercise sums you verify and complete the exercise.